What's up, everybody? We got some more Guns N' Roses news today. So the first piece of news is sort of uh, coming out of Stephen Adler's AMA he did on Reddit. And Stephen Adler talked about how he missed the excitement of the 80s rock scene. He said, I think I got to catch the end of it when rock really was rock. That's what I miss. I miss going to the record stores and hanging out. I miss going to magazine stands and reading magazines and looking at pictures. He also missed looking at record albums and all their notes and at the pictures on their sleeves and, and so forth. He said, nowadays, it's nothing. You just push a button and you're on the computer. There's no liner notes. There's maybe a goofy picture that's been photoshopped. I like the real stuff. He likes real instruments. He really likes uh, real people practicing as well. He said it was also really important that, you know, he's never really known one person who just wants to play music for themselves. He said he's always been known to be the kind of person who wants to play music for the world. And he misses the whole real kind of rock thing. And uh, if you guys want to read the entire article, I've linked to it down below. We've also got some other articles about Guns N' Roses that have appeared online in the past couple days. So uh, one article is about the night that Don Henley joined Guns N' Roses. So Guns N' Roses uh, were playing the American Music Awards back in 1989. It was in January of 1989. And they were playing Patience Live. And they had run into an issue with Steven Adler. Apparently he had injured himself, wasn't able to play the gig. But Axel actually had, um, basically he turned to one of his label mates who was Don Henley and uh, originally when Axel had asked Don Henley to come play drums for them he said he'd have to think about it and then get back to Axel and then you know looking back at the actual uh, performance Henley said fortunately it was a ballad that we played not a balls to the wall number added Henley it was a piece of cake there was really nothing to it I think they were kind of rebelling about the whole thing I understood that very well because I lived through one of those periods. So in a way, I was reliving my past. Hell, I hadn't seen Dick Clark, Dick Clark since 1970. So if you guys want to read the entire article, I've linked to it down below. There's also a performance uh, that they did with Don Henley back at the American Music Awards in 1989. And then we've got some articles appearing in some uh, New Zealand uh, uh, blogs as well. So there's one about Guns N' Roses' five best songs uh, that you guys can go check out. Uh, I didn't take this list seriously because Live and Let Die is listed as one of the top five songs of theirs. And then they have another article about the weird world of Guns N' Roses. There's nothing really new there. It's just basically a brief history of the band. And with Guns N' Roses now in New Zealand, these are some photos from Guns N' Roses' airplane, from the actual stadium that they're going to be playing, and as well as some of their crew. This is uh, Slash's bodyguard. And then there's also uh, a photo of Axel that's uh, shown up that I hadn't seen until today, uh, I guess from when he landed in New Zealand. And then we've also got some uh, photos of Melissa Reese uh, with the actual band's photographer, uh, Kat. So that basically does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, let me know your thoughts down below. And make sure you subscribe for the latest Guns N' Roses news. And be sure to follow me on Twitter for the latest Guns N' Roses news at Guns N' Roses Daily. Take care.